Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. I've been kind of going on this upload thing where I'm trying to post more and I really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, you guys can follow me on my Instagram. It'll be right here on the screen um, if you guys want to message me. Now, I did film that previous video with the parts and everything. That's still good to go. Um, if you guys want to update with that, just feel free to DM me. Like I said, and take a little bit of time as I do get a lot of DMs from you guys, which I really appreciate. It's better to have a full inbox than no inbox at all. Um, but in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of talking about an update with this car. Um, now, as you guys know, I've been trying to chase down the K24 swap. Um, which I have a K24 E2 swap into my MR2 Spider here. Um, and I love it. Now, uh, as you guys know, I'm getting a whole different kit here soon. Um, but I wanted to film, wanted to film um, an update, and I actually found the problem to my MR2 Spire from me, what you guys can see from the title. Okay, so basically with this car, um, now I had an electrical gremlin. I went through many, many different parts, went through many, many different people. So I appreciate all of you guys for helping me out. You guys know who you are. I shouted you guys out in the last video. Um, but I actually found the problem. Now thanks to my buddy Kung who actually sold me the hard top and you know exhaust there's always here his name I, he gave me this chaser tool now it's an electrical chaser that you go through and you find out what's powering what's not um, and I was able to find the problem and it is through the engine harness the stock one that I got so I got this k24 swap as a whole turnkey solution from buddy Brent um, he's over in Florida he has his own shop and everything and we did the transaction back in, I don't remember, July, maybe August. Um, and I swapped this car right away over almost six months ago now. It's been a little while. Um, and I just, you know, I don't have that much time as a student and stuff like that. So uh, I wasn't able to get on it right away. But I started, it even drove out to the driveway, was bleeding the coolant and just died. Um, wasn't anything mechanical, it was all electrical. EC wasn't powering up all the time and stuff like that. So I went back and forth, really, really frustrated and kind of gave up on it for a little while. But I found the problems through the engine harness. Um, also, Jeff Slow helped me out a bunch. He um, is a guy on the forums and he helped me find the problem with it. He has a beautiful case swap um, MRS also. And he helped me go through the, the system and uh, find out what was different between his car and my car and because we had pretty similar setups. Um, so I bought a new harness here, so it's coming. I'm um, gonna get this car fixed up and running. So I um, just wanted to guys give you guys an update. I do have a whole plethora of parts that I've been building up. I've been working full time. I've been blessed to have a job during this time. I know that COVID has kind of made a lot of people's lives um, very, very hard. Um, it's made, you know, it's been a good year to some and it's been pretty hard for others. So. Um, Blessings. My prayers go out to your families um, that lost their loved ones and um, are going through hard situations right now. Um, I'm, I was very, very blessed to actually get a job at, I'm actually only 19 years old and I'm a, a college student doing things online. So I'm able to get a little bit of money, help my parents out of course, and then also um, kind of fund this project on the side. So that's what I've been doing. And so um, that part's coming probably next week, so you'll probably see a video here. I'm gonna try installing it right away and um, get this car up and running. Uh, I'll give you guys an update then, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that that's the problem um, as the, the tool showed it. Um, I got a brand new Mitch Auto Parts harness too. Um, mine was ripped and because I got it used, it wasn't even Brent's fault. It was just wear and tear. It's from 2008. Of course the OEM Honda harness is gonna fail. Uh, it just probably got pinched somewhere, maybe during my installation or I pulled the pin out. Um, so that's what happened. I'm really excited to get this car up and running. Just wanted to just wanted to give you guys a little sit down here. Um, but in the next video, I'm gonna be installing some more parts. So like I said, I I um, do still work with white line, so I have some white line parts. Uh, I actually got it used from Kung, of course, who sold me all the stuff. I I've been begging him for his. Um, white line sway bar so i got his um it has a mission motor parts got an oil cooler coming and all of that so this car is going to be ready i'm going to track it of course that's no excuse at all you guys are going to see this car up and running i know you guys give me a hard time about it sometimes and of course i'm going to build the mr2 i've always wanted to build you know a car the kit that i've always wanted to do the color i've always wanted to do and the swap i've always wanted to do it's it's honestly a blessing to be able to do this so thank you guys so much for your support um I'm sure this channel is going to start growing a lot faster when I actually get this car driving. So 
If you guys want to help me out, share this video, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment, do what you guys do, and I'll see you guys next one. Stay positive, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye.